Okay, in transition defense right here, if you're Aaron Gordon, you just sprint back. Okay, it doesn't matter that you might be guarding Kevin Durant or DeAndre Ayton. Just get back. Because look what happens. So you're backpedaling and backpedaling and backpedaling. So you've been sprinting the whole way. Now Nikola Jokic get up and force Cameron Payne right into help. But that option doesn't exist now. Okay, so Michael Porter Jr. is trying to save this ball. Devin Booker is getting this basketball, okay? Like, Nikola Jokic is not getting it. So you should be sprinting back right now. Give us an extra number on defense. What is Jokic doing? What does this accomplish other than now it guarantees you're behind the play and this is a five-on-three that no one can guard? Okay, so Jamal Murray's feet are not level to each other right here. He's playing on Devin Booker's side. He's giving him this angle. Well, you can't play off of Devin Booker. So you're going to have to get up, and Aaron Gordon's going to have to be here and help. Okay, and then you can rotate. I mean, if the pass goes here, you rotate, you rotate, and Aaron Gordon would ultimately end up here. But, like, you got to be in help, and Jamal Murray's got to be up on Devin Booker, and none of those things happen. If you're Contavious Caldwell Pope, just battle for position with Devin Booker. This gamble right here by KCP right there. See that gamble right there? So now instead of battling for position, that's going to allow Devin Booker to get the angle to get in the paint right here. And once that happens, it's over. He's too deep. Okay, this is terrible transition defense. Let's first point out that Nikola Jokic is not even in the screen right now. So we'll start on this turnover right here with Michael Porter Jr. You simply have to sprint back so you can take Kevin Durant in transition. But what is Jokic doing? How is this when we see Jokic where he is? Jogging in the middle of nowhere, and there's Devin Booker. Like, how? what were you doing that whole time? You can never, ever guard like this if you're Aaron Gordon, especially when you're guarding Kevin Durant. you got to have your back to the baseline. you got to be seeing ball and seeing man. Your man has to be in front of you. Look at this. You just give Kevin Durant the ability to go all the way across the floor, and as soon as he catches it, look where he's catching it. Just catch, turn, two. Okay, so Aaron Gordon's already beat before this handoff even takes place. This has to be a switch. Jokic is going to have to step up and take Kevin Durant. Aaron Gordon's going to have to take DeAndre Ayton. If Jokic can't stay with Kevin Durant, you can force him into help right here. But KCP has to stay home on Devin Booker. So you're trying to run drop coverage here. So now KCP's got to be in backside help on DeAndre Ayton's role so he's not wide open. So what does that mean? Well, now Devin Booker, when he catches this, KCP's not ready to guard. So he's off balance, one dribble, three. Okay, so Bruce Brown is trying to fight over the top of the screen. Nikola Jokic is in drop coverage here. If you're Bruce Brown, you have got to just get over the top of the screen. You cannot gamble. Look at Bruce Brown gamble right there, try and gamble. So now that's going to send you backwards, and now it's going to take you too long to get over the screen. This can't happen. Jamal Murray's not even in the picture. He, there he is. He has an hour now to just sprint back, get to a spot with his feet set in a defensive stance. You cannot guard Devin Booker by backpedaling and playing off your back foot in the open floor. I mean, come on, this is just an easy blow-by. In transition defense, when the ball's on the other side of the floor, don't worry about the ball. Just get back if you're Bruce Brown and Jamal Murray. Look at Bruce Brown and Jamal Murray. Both paying attention to the ball. No one gets back. Beautiful. Okay, so Jeff Green gets screened here guarding Kevin Durant. So he's going to be off balance guarding Kevin Durant. You cannot be off balance guarding Kevin Durant. You have all the help in the world. KCP's come over. Nikola Jokic is here to help. You've got to keep Kevin Durant on your side and force him into this help. If he goes this way and you're left one-on-one, -on -one, uh, not going to work. Okay, I mean, if you're Michael Porter Jr. here, this isn't going to cut it in transition guarding Devin Booker. you got to sprint over. You have to have your feet set. You have to be in a defensive stance. Devin Booker has a full head of steam coming downhill right here, and you're just backpedaling. Okay, so the Suns are setting consecutive ball screens right here. So Aaron Gordon and KCP are going to switch the first one. What about the second one? Because Jokic, it looks like, is planning on switching. Did he communicate this? I don't think so because we have two people going to Kevin Durant. So now Aaron Gordon's got to help on DeAndre Ayton, and when he comes back out to Devin Booker, he's off balance. So now it's just rip and go, couple dribbles, open jumper. Okay, if you're Michael Porter Jr. here in transition defense, the first thing you need to be doing is sprinting back, and Michael Porter Jr. does not do that. Look at this jogging right here, jogging. So now instead of Jokic being able to stay home on Devin Booker right here, he's got to worry about T.J. Warren too. So now that just opens up Devin Booker at the three-point line. Okay, what is KCP doing? Why are the Nuggets switching right here? There's no screen. Like, just guard Devin Booker. Look at this. Why is KCP switching? What was that? Cannot do this if you're Aaron Gordon. Look at him leaning towards what he thinks is about to be a pick and roll between Kevin Durant and DeAndre Ayton. Look at him leaning right there. Boom. Now you're just going to get beat the other way. Okay, if you're Nikola Jokic right here, you've got to communicate. You have no one to guard. DeAndre Ayton's across half court. So Aaron Gordon now can send Kevin Durant right here into help. Instead, Aaron Gordon's letting Kevin Durant go where there is no help. So that's not good, I don't think. So what is Jokic doing right here? If he's going to be in drop coverage, he's got to find a spot and have his feet set. Because he's got to be able to guard the ball, but he's also got to be able to guard DeAndre Ayton. 
Like, Jokic is starting to come up here. Oh, and now he's just going to start backpedaling and be in drop coverage. Well, KCP had to come over here and backside help. So now Terrence Ross is just catch and shoot. Oh, no, here we go again. Jeff Green is going to start leaning towards what he thinks is another Kevin Durant, DeAndre Ayton pick and roll. Well, guess what? You lean towards the screen, and now it's not. So Kevin Durant's right to the rim. I mean, if you're Jamal Murray right here, if and when Cameron Payne sets the screen and if and when Devin Booker comes off the screen, you can start reacting. But Cameron Payne doesn't set a screen here. He's going to end up slipping this screen. But Jamal Murray's feeling out a screen. See him looking for a screen? Well, it never happened, and now you can't guard the ball. Again, if you're Contavious Caldwell Pope, you do not worry about the ball in transition when it's on the other side of the court. Just get back so we have you on defense. See, you go towards the ball, gamble, don't get it, and we just lost you on defense now. Okay, look in this camera shot right here. Bruce Brown is coming over to double Devin Booker right here. So why would KCP here not be up and forcing him into this double? You can rotate over here if a pass goes to the wing. Why would you play off? You have a double team. Like, it's the only th way that Devin Booker can beat you. This is a complete joke in transition. Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon have to sprint back. Both jog. Look at the jogging. So if Aaron Gordon could come over here and take the ball and Michael Porter Jr. could sprint back and get to Devin Booker, look what that opens up. So now Jamal Murray can go here and Bruce Brown can go here. Instead, you essentially have a four-on-two. Okay, how many mistakes can the Nuggets make in one play? First of all, there's a down screen. Jokic needs to get attached to his man with his arms out so Devin Booker can't curl right over the screen. So you let Devin Booker curl. That's why Bruce Brown, there's separation there. So when Devin Booker catches this ball, Bruce Brown has got to just make sure he's in front of Devin Booker. Instead, what does he do? He anticipates a handoff. Well, anticipation was wrong, Bruce. If you're Jamal Murray and you don't have backside help, then you've got to just battle for position with Kevin Durant. You cannot try in three quarters of the post and gamble right here because if you gamble and don't get it, there's no one there, so it's Kevin Durant's just open. Okay, so what is going on right here? Devin Booker beats KCP off the dribble, so if Jokic is coming over here to help, then everyone else has to stay home because, I mean, this just can't happen. You have five Nuggets players guarding the ball right now or staring at the ball. So the perimeter, I'm pretty sure, is going to be open. And, oh, yeah, Kevin Durant's on the perimeter. This is a complete disaster right here. The Nuggets are going to, like, kind of trap here. Well, don't kind of trap. Like, look at this. you got to get up if you're trapping so that Devin Booker, these passes out of this trap are difficult to make. Like, you're just, this isn't trapping. This is like two people kind of standing in the same vicinity as Devin Booker. So he can make any pass he wants now. I mean, again, this is a complete disaster. Jokic and Murray are just kind of trapping. Don't kind of trap. You got to get up and actually trap. And then Aaron Gordon's got to deny one pass away. So if this is a tr real good trap, you're not worried about this skip pass being made. So not only are Jokic and Murray just sort of breathing near where Devin Booker's breathing, well, you didn't deny one pass away. So even if they were trapping like they should, this pass is too easy and it's rip and go for two. Okay, what do the Nuggets do in practice when they're working on trapping? Like, KCP has got to come over here and trap, and then as soon as he starts to come over here, Jamal Murray's got to step up here because you've got to deny one pass away. You're not worried about this pass if it's a good trap. But this is, again, not really a trap, and Jamal Murray doesn't even come close to rotating up. I mean, what is Jamal Murray doing here? You're just staring at the ball. You have no idea what your man, who happens to be one of the greatest scorers of all time, Kevin Durant, is doing. So now look. So now Kevin Durant, there's separation here. You're still not seeing the ball. And then you also gamble on the pass out. That is horrendous.